in this video we are going to see about what is mean by python why we are using python and where we have python python was developed by guido van rosen why we use python python is easy to learn it has few lines of code it can run in different platform python has simple syntax like simple english language python is easy to read so if you are a background of c c++ java you might see some uh, complex syntax in that but in python it is very easy syntax we use a uh, python language like slightly like a simple english language and it have very few lines of code a beginner can easily learn python rather than the c c++ java it is so simple to learn uses of python we use python in different domains like web application machine learning web scraping graphical user interface game development in that we use several libraries and frameworks we can see one by one first one is web application server side that is in back end we use django for a big or large website we use this django for larger site and flask for a smaller site web 2 py cherry py in machine learning and ai we use tensorflow scikit-learn pytorch in web scraping we use selenium beautiful soup scrappy in graphical user interface we use pyqt5 tkinter pysci2 kiwi wx python in game development we use pygame pygaira pyglet py open gl and till now we have see what are the uses of python what is python and why we use python now how to execute a python code we can execute the python code in two ways one is in online one is in offline in online we have online gdp program is google collab in offline we have python ideally pycharm jupyter notebook vs code for basic python like a small programming we use online gdp program is and python ideally jupyter notebook but when we are moving to a complex coding we use google collab pycharm vs code vs code is ultimately for the very large scale uh, production like uh, it is used for web applications using django flask like that we use vs code so i prefer you to use google collab and jupyter notebook for uh, learning this python code for basic because in that we can easily organize our folders and files and save them in a right manner so i prefer you to use google collab in online if you are using offline you use jupyter notebook then these are the python libraries and frameworks and their uses see here in machine learning we use numpy tensorflow pandas extrason and in web development we use django flask bottle see here we also use automating automation testing image processing game development web scraping okay these are the uses of python libraries and frameworks if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification if you have any doubts let me know in comment section thank you guys see you in next video bye bye